<laughs> hey everyone, Dash Attack here. How are you all doing? Well, I'm here to report that Concord has sadly died again. Sony is now completely shutting down Firewalk Studios, making any chance of a Concord revival almost practically non-existent. Like, I think they even straight out say that, like, they're just going to forget about the game. They're not going to bother with it. So it's not, it won't get revived, it won't get retooled. They're just going to shut down the studio. Which sucks, I guess, for the people who, like, made the game and, like... Except this this person. I, I mean, <laughs> this after what she said, I don't feel sorry. Pretty soon these weirdos will have no games to buy at all. <laughs> now, now you won't have a job at all. Well, there's me laughing. But yeah. Yeah. Laughing and jokes aside, my god, this, this has to be the worst uh, handled live service game of all time. Evolve lasted longer than this. I, hey, if any if any game deserves a revival or a second chance, it's Evolve. I uh, was a big fan of that game. Honestly, did not see them abandoning this entirely, damn. <laughs> Looks like I picked the wrong week to buy a PS5. Nothing of value was lost. <laughs> Japan Studio sends its regards. Ouch. Yeah, the the reactions are going to uh, be vicious, and I suspect there'll be a new influx of Concord memes out now that the game is like completely dead. Oh, this this meme is dark. This meme is freaking dark, man. <laughs> Oh, this meme never gets old. The ten people who bought the game. It's conk over. Oh, yeah. Collector's item right here. Sony really wants to forget Concord ever existed and re really starting to regret closing Japan Studio right now, haven't they? Hmm, makes you think. <laughs> yeah. I think what Sony needs is a Bloodborne 2. I've been having so much fun with Bloodborne. I think this is like the first like real Souls game I've ever gotten like so into. I mean, yeah, I like Liza Pi, but um P. I like Liza P, but um I don't know, I just really like Concord. Uh, no, no, I I really I just really like uh <laughs> I really like Bloodborne because of the setting and how creepy it is. I think they should get FromSoft on the phone and they should make uh, Bloodborne 2. Oh yeah, let's see uh, people roasting IGN. Sony is shutting down Firewalk Studios in the wake of the disastrous release of the PS5 shooter Concord. You know, it was also on PC. Yeah, you gave it the, the Magic 7, remember? Oh, this guy's trolling. He's, I'm not sure if Sweet Baby was part of this. Concord greater than Black Ops 6. Oh, yeah, what's going on with Black Ops 6? I hear it really sucks. And Demian, yet another studio killed chasing the modern audience. Yep. Why didn't the modern audience save Concord? A very good question. Here's an article from uh, back in August. 
Since Sony's first unveiling, its new PvP multiplayer shooter, Concord's sentiments surrounding the game has been mixed, to say the least. In the weeks leading up to the game's launch, it's been hard to ignore the outpouring of negative, especially on social media platforms, where official Concord updates are universally met with are usually met with laughing emojis, memes, as we as well as claims from video game fans that it'll be dead on arrival. And it was. This guy, um, a rudimentary scan through some of the comments and discussions surrounding Concord reveal a vocal minority seemingly hell-bent on the game's demise simply because it dares to feature a diverse cast of heroes, in particular female characters who don't conform to imaginary beauty standards and the inclusion of pronouns in hero bios, a minor detail many won't even notice in-game. They noticed. Concord's very existence it seems, is an affront to their vocal minority who believes they are fighting a moral crusade, choosing to spend their time moaning about fictional agendas rather than championing the hobby they claim to love. <laughs> this aged like fine wine. Even without the tiresome anti-woke mob, Sony's hot new shooter has content with the prospective players asking why they should be spending 35 euros on a game that shares an arena with so many free-to-play alternatives. It's a tricky spot to be in. If Concord had launched as a free-to-play title, we'd no doubt be hearing about how content is locked behind paywalls and money-grabbing. Concord is a highly polished first-person shooter with a fast, fran frantic gameplay and dynamic cast of characters. The negative sentiment surrounding its launch is misplaced and will be disappointed if Concord failed to gain the momentum it deserves. Ouch. I'm not sure that's aged well. So, overall, what can be learned from Concord? The, uh, what killed the game? I mean, we all know what killed the game. The stupid character designs. Like, you know, it's being in a bloated market and with a tired, aging genre that is the hero shooter. And, you know, it just was not interesting. Like, you know, the pronoun thing didn't help. You know, the, the character designs were awful. You know, and like, you know, the fact that it was live service. You know, people are just tired of this. You know, people are tired of these types of games. People would like some single player games, which is why I think they should st get right on Bloodborne 2. Get FromSoft on that ASAP. Anyways, thank you all for watching this video. I'm Dash Attack, and I'll see you next time.